What shall we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. While it is no longer available in the physical form, you can download it as a digital version. And there is a link in my bio. But in the meantime, what shall we ask the tarot today? Am I on the right path in love? Spirit, for the viewer, can we please have a look at their path in love and see if they are on the way to finding it, the right path in love? What do we need to know about the viewer's journey? And speaking of journeys, I am going to be heading out to Brussels and Bruges. I came home for one night to freshen up and change out my backpack and I am <laughs> going to be on another journey but let's have a look. Let's have a look. We have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Blades, the Eight of Blades, the Hermit, the Two of Rods, the Devil and the Eight of Coins. For some of you, it looks like you might be coming to a crossroads and having decisions to make. And possibly you could feel challenged by this. Now the Two of Rods to me is a very visionary card of you having a very clear idea of what it is that you are wanting to experience in regards to love and your future. I speak frequently of manifestation and one of the key factors to manifestation is knowing exactly what you want. Again, to me, this is a card that is saying that you need to take accountability and make decisions according to what you truly desire. With this selection of cards, I do think that there are two roads in which you could be traveling. We are going to look at both of those paths. But what I would really suggest on practical terms is you sitting down with a piece of paper and a pen and looking at what would you like within a relationship? How would you like to feel in a relationship? What would be some of the qualities of the person that you wish to be with? Once you have made those goals apparent, then you, God, the universe, your higher self, whichever terminology you prefer to use, will be in no doubt if you are on that right path. All right, let's look at one side of these possibilities of this journey. On one hand, we have the Devil card with this Eight of Swords. The combination of these two cards is suggesting toxic patterns repeating. Where are you seeing repeat patterns and feeling stuck? So not only am I talking about the traits that you see in other people, but I am also talking of you. Your traits, your patterns. And if these are patterns that you are not liking, then what are you going to do to bring them to an end? Many will have heard me say this before, but this is something that I had to do. I was a very slow learner and it wasn't until I realized that I was a common denominator and until I decided to look at my jealousies and my insecurities and my neediness, then that cycle would remain and I would perpetually energetically call in people that would mirror back to me my biggest fears. In a more traditional looking deck, you would see for the Eight of Swords, a woman who is on a beach and she has her eyes blindfolded and her hands are tied. If you look at the fabric of which her eyes and hands are bound, it is extremely flimsy, suggesting that they can be taken off at any time. So this is a card that traditionally it speaks of mindset of taking off your own blindfold and really looking deeply at the truth. Now, of course, this is not going to apply to everybody. 
But even on a small scale, this is a very good reminder to value your dreams, your goals, and your desires. And if there are others that do not contribute or help you reach that destiny, then perhaps they are not for you. I also do recognize that there are members of this collective have extremely difficult home circumstances. And this might be easier said than done. And to those that are experiencing this, I send love. Now let's move to the lighter energy that we also have here. We have the Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. Now in no other deck does the Hermit card ever mean what I'm going to tell you. This is a personal interpretation and because of the illustration, something that I have always seen ever since I first saw this card. To me, this is a card that speaks of a high level divine counterpart, perhaps a twin soul. We see the flame in the middle and we see the two vines that are growing. One soul in two physical bodies. Both have gone through immense learning and are now very much beacons of light to one another. Not only are they of one soul, but they are of one mind. And they have this perfect ability to work together. With the Ace of Rods being at the bottom of the deck, this may be talking about somebody new. Either this is someone who you have not met yet, or this is someone who is fairly new into your life and there is a huge pull towards one another, very magnetic, very spiritual, and highly creative, full of passion. For some of you, this might be the new beginning that you have been wanting. Again, as I always say in collective readings, not every reading is meant to be for you. So it is completely up to you to listen to your own intuition as to whether this particular reading is for you. What it is also saying with this Queen of Swords and the Hermit card is that you carry the knowledge within you. You have the gift of discernment when others come towards you to know whether this person is meant for you. The Queen of Blades is very, very selective on who they allow into their energetic and physical field. And the Queen of Swords was not always that way. This is something that she has had to learn. Through all of the experiences that you've had here, you now carry immense wisdom. The Hermit card says it also. At one point in time, you were the student and now there are the lessons that you have mastered. So in summary, as to whether you are on the right path in love, you will know if you are on the right path in love, especially when it comes to this two of wands. If the person that you are asking about is meeting all of the requirements and the qualities that you desire, then that is the clue that you are on the right path. If you are finding that you are still going round and round in circles, then it is saying that there might be some changes that you ought to look at. If you choose to repeat the same cycles, then I do not see that as good or bad. I simply see it as experience. But there will come a point in time when you will have had enough and it will be at that point that you break the cycle. At this time, there are no private readings. I will reopen those back up once I am back from my European trip. I had mentioned in one of my videos yesterday, while I am in Bruges, I will be going to one of the most beautiful churches. And if you would like me to light a candle for you, I would be honored to do so. Sending so much love to each of you.